hello all my chunk divas today we are going to do a how I make sweltering guacamole so basically what you're gonna need I am being interrupted by my own mother what is earth so I have three avocados it really doesn't matter how many you use just depends how much you want to make um, I don't want to make a ton so I'm just using three because that's all I have. You're going to need either a splash of lemon or lemon juice and some other stuff. What else? What else? Garlic. That is crucial. Probably like what? Two or three cloves? Yeah. Two or three cloves of garlic. Depends how garlic you, garlicky you like it. I like mine extra sweltering and garlicky. And then also, um, really, like any seasoning you guys want to dress it up with, like I, we like to put pepper, garlic, salt, even regular salt's fine. Um, tomatoes, if you have it, we don't have tomatoes or salsa. Sometimes I like to add salsa into my guacamole, and that makes it really good. Guacamole is like very, what is the word, universal. Like there's not really a perfect best way on how to make it it's really just perfecting it how you guys like it so this is like our perfected like favorite version of it so you guys can switch it out for really any ingredients that you guys want but this is, these are the ingredients that I have in, um, yeah can't talk but these are the ingredients that I have in the house right now so I'm just gonna use them and let's get cooking you know this little chunk diva has to have her Starbucks it's on point. So I'm just gonna use this bowl to start off with. You guys can use whatever bowl, but I just like to use a big bowl at first to combine all my ingredients. So really quickly, I'm just going to um, get the avocados out of their skin before I do anything else, which is really simple. All I like to do is take a, no, not that. Also, take a sharp little knife like this and um, go ahead and just cut it. These avocados are really ripe, so they'll probably just kind of slide out of the skin, twist it, and there you have your avocado. And to get the pit out, I just kind of squeeze it out like that. And that can be thrown away. And then to get the actual avocado out, I like to take a spoon and scoop all of that yummers out of there. Put it into the bowl. Get every last drop. We'll go ahead and do this side. And you know an avocado is ripe when it cuts open like very easily. There we are! Mom, what? Sorry. <laughs> what the hell? I got your email now. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Golzo. All right, and then we have one more. Which I'm just gonna cut open. Okay, so now that our avocados are in there, I like to kind of squish them up first. If you guys wanna add all your ingredients and then squish them up, that's fine too. But I do like my guacamole a little bit chunky. So I'm not gonna mix it a whole lot, but I am gonna get it kind of creamy like a creamy chunky consistency okay so this is kind of like my desired consistency so we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients I'm just gonna take a little bit of lemon and add just a splash of lemon in there which kind of helps the flavor and it also helps it from browning I think is that what it's for what is the lemon for mom yeah um to help it from like getting gross and kind of like preserves it. Actually, I think it makes it brown more. So take a little slice or you can use lemon juice, that's fine too. And then squeeze that in there. Okay, so I'm putting the guacamole or a little bit of the guacamole aside and I'm gonna cut up some garlic cloves now and I like to use like two to three depending on how much I'm making and how big the avocados are. So I'm just gonna start off with, <laughs> with one and kind of play it by ear. But if you guys don't like garlic, you can totally like make this your own. That's what I love about guacamole is that you can literally put anything in it. You could literally just put avocados 
mix avocados in with a little salt and pepper and it's perfectly fine but I like to put a lot of stuff in mine just to make it really good so I'm going to chop up this garlic and chop it up pretty good I like to mince it till it's pretty fine so you don't get like a ton of garlic chunks in there okay so I'm gonna cut up two more cloves just because that is not enough for me and I like a ton of garlic you guys know this, I'm a garlic fiend. Ugh, and I just take my knife and crush it to get the skin or the peel off the garlic. Oh, gall. I just, all right. Five second roll, we're good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the garlic in here. And there's that. Um, also, I forgot to tell you guys, if you have any kind of like cilantro or herbs or something, cilantro is amazing in guacamole, but I don't have any. Like I said, my kitchen is pretty empty, so I'm kind of just going with what I have. But if I had cilantro in the house, I would definitely put it in. Um, but now I'm just going to add some seasonings to this now. So first seasoning I'm gonna use is just black pepper. I love black pepper in any food. I like a lot of pepper just cause it's just a great seasoning I think. So I'm gonna add a good amount of black pepper to the guacamole. I like lots of pepper like I was saying. So there's the pepper. And for a little extra garlicky saltiness I'm gonna add some garlic salt. And I love garlic salt, so I'm gonna add a little bit of this. This stuff's pretty powerful. Add a little bit of that. And because we can't have enough sweltering garlic, I'm adding garlic powder, which is kind of like a fine version of garlic salt. Let's not dump the whole thing in. <laughs> Golzo. Add a little bit of garlic powder. Okay, this is pretty simplified. Like I said, um, I would definitely recommend adding cilantro, salsa if you have it, even fresh tomatoes, pretty much anything that would go good with avocados, which pretty much everything goes good with avocados. I would definitely recommend adding in here. Do you want some red bell pepper, No. Okay. It is time for the taste test. No, we don't have any tortilla chips. Are you joking? We might not have tortilla chips. <laughs> That's what the guacamole looks like. There's my mother. Mommy, you want to taste test it with me? <gasps> what? We would have tomato sauce. No, that's rancid in there. Okay. So I'm going to try this. Watch it be rancid. Tortilla chippies. Gosh, I wish we had cilantro and salsa. Because salsa thins it out. You know you can put some Taco Bell packets in there. Bland! Straight up bland! <laughs> some more, some more salt. I gotta season this up a little bit more. And cause y'all know I love my ranch. You know what, why not? I'm just smothering ranch in this right now. To make it creamy. I tell you, whatever y'all have in the house, add to the guacamole. It does not matter because <laughs> anything is good in guacamole. And I'm going to add some Taco Bell sauce. <laughs> Watch we'll this be rancid. Because it kind of, it almost acts like a little bit of a salsa because we don't have salsa. So. <laughs> oh, that was being weird. Alrighty. So let's see if this helps season it up a little bit. Try it now. No, I don't want to try it. That makes it creamy. Is it sweltering? <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> what did you say? I'm <laughs> confused. No, you're not. I'm sure not. <laughs> Blam! <laughs> first off. This is why out. I do not make cooking videos <laughs> because it never turns out good. The We're second sad. I want to record it. <laughs> Did you see that's what no? Really, that's really good. Oh, I didn't do that. 
We're adding a little bit more seasoning salt. Try that straight And up. a little bit of garlic salt. More salt the better. <laughs> more salt the better. This is definitely not healthy guacamole. Look at this sweltering guacamole. Gozo. Okay, round two. We're gonna try this again. Yummers! That's good, it's better now. Put it on the list then. Uh-huh. Swelter, swelter, swelter. That is how a chunk diva makes her guacamole. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it sort of helpful. It was a little bit of a fail because I had like nothing in my house, but I wanted to use these avocados to make this video since y'all have been requesting me to make it. And maybe in the future I'll do like an updated like fancy guacamole with a ton of stuff in it because that's how I like it. But I also like it when it's just very plain and simple. And yeah, hope you guys like this cooking video. Comment down below um, what other Cooking with Missy videos you would like me to do so this little chunk can be in the kitchen more often and make food because I love it. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.